had a terrific life as a young, two young kids. We always had a playmate, right, Hershey and I. You know, there was only one problem. I was better than him in all sports, except he was better than me in pushing my face into the snow because he was taller than me, so he was able to push my face into the snow early. I still remember he brought us Tarvies by, by like, it was right down the hill from us, so I remember he brought us draw rakers and stuff. My dad was always in the building, you know. He was always, you have to be careful to behave yourself because, you know, you can never be sure that he wouldn't be around. The day he was gone, um, night before, we were supposed to visit him the next day for Cholamoid. And I was at my cousin's home. We ate a meal there. And we were about to leave. That night we were going to leave. And he came and pulled up and he said, it's 80's gone. One of the biggest milers that I saw in Herschel is that no matter how busy he was and no matter what he was doing, he looked at you and the whole world was dead. I always told myself that when Mashiach comes in Heira, I'm going to run to Reb Herschel's house because I'm certain that Mashiach is going to stop there first. I was saying my dad was a very special person. He was a prince. And um, just he touched um, everybody in the community. My Herschel was not a rich man in um, in worldly uh, values, but he was one of the richest men in terms of more moral and uh, ethical. You never heard a bad word about anybody from him. I've, of course, never, never saw anybody dedicated to Klal Yisrael and have so much Avas Yisrael. I, I can't believe that he's gone. I can't believe that he's not here anymore. You don't find such people in the street today. And I knew Herschel. I was at his bris, actually. <laughs> I know him from when he was born. I just miss uh, just having him. Just having him. Just knowing 